My name is Jeff Scheman. I'm Chief Information Security Officer for Amina Bank. We have to move at the, beyond the speed of threat, which is the threat actors attacking us with their new technologies, new uh, TTPs, techniques, techniques and procedures every month, 11 million new TTPs a month. And we need to deliver trust to our clients and, and information systems. Trust that we can both deliver the services that we promise while keeping you know, the DLT uh, solutions of the blockchain publicly available uh, and deliverable with the key benefits that they have, speed and transparency. The two trends that I see really uh, affecting the space, and I'm in the risk and compliance and security area, the first trend is clearly AI, and it's broken down into two use cases. One is how we use AI internally. So when we first see digital forensics incident response, the first incident of a foreign actor attacking a system, and then how do we take that article from DFIR and turn it to what we call cyber threat intelligence. So how do we classify this as an indication of compromise or a tactic, technique, and procedure, a TTP? And then how do we take that into security operations? Detection is code, response is code. Today, that's somewhere between seven to 10 days. And each area is using AI itself independently. But what we see in the future is we'll probably get down to three to five days first when DFIR, CTI, and security operations start using AI together in that triangle. So that's the first use case, which is incredibly enabling for us all to get down to the very first evidence of bad actors on our systems, turning it into defensible code. The other side of this is a circle that's drawn around that triangle, and it's the unscalable to scalable attacks. These are the nation state attack tools, NTC Vulcan, Pegasus, Vault 7, Snowden leaks. You can think of all these things that have come out before. Um, and that's where we move from unscalable nation state attacks to scalable. That's this perimeter, sort of the blood brain barrier. And once that gets broken through, we're gonna see a lot more attacks come into our DFIR circle, but we're gonna start have to get more advanced at defending against these nation state actors and threats and realizing they have the opportunity to use AI just as well as we do. The question is who uses it best first and most effectively.